What's good folks, as you can see, we got all the parts here laid out for a build. There's not gonna be a lot of talking and time wasting because I'm under a time crunch. You know, I don't have a lot of time to put this system together. So let's talk about it. So at the end, when I'm telling you about the parts, I will put the total price here. Also use a PC part linker, PC part picker link <laughs> down below so you can see what is going on. So let's go ahead and run through the parts. I'm not doing no intro, whatever. Let's just talk about it. This is all based on a chip that I've been wanting to do for a while, the Ryzen. The Ryzen 3 2200G. This is one of Ryzen's APU series chips. You basically can game on this by itself, but we are gonna be pairing it with the GPU. We'll get to that later. Motherboard wise, we got the B50 Pro M2. Gonna look kinda nice in the case that we got, but you know, it's not, I didn't really get this for its aesthetic purposes either. But I'm interested to test this out and see what's good. As for RAM, we got an eight gigabyte kit of Kingston HyperX Fury. This is just gonna be enough for us to get this system, get it on this system, play some games, see what's good, all right? Just to get this out of the way, I have a 120 gigabyte SSD from A Data. This is just a drive that we're gonna throw in here to start it off. And I do have some other random, like more terabyte drives that I want to get, but just for now, this is what we're working with. Power supply, pick this up, cheap EVGA, 80 watt plus bronze power supply. Case, we got the Fractal Design Focus G case. It'll be my first white build. Now this necessarily doesn't fit into the budget because it wasn't for this build here at all that I have this, but I got a five pack of RGB fans from up here. It's like 30 bucks. We're gonna toss it in here, give it a little RG bling. You know how we like to do around here. It's RGB everything. Now I know that y'all like, why is he beating around the bush? We see it over there, we know what's good. Right before I started this video, I was on Instagram. Oh no, what is this? What is going on? What? I ordered a GTX 1660 for this build. I figured that would be a really nice card to pair with something like the 2200G. Now shout out to my guy, Zach from Zach's Tech Turf. It's actually pretty similar to a build that he just did, a video that he just did. So make sure you go check his video out. You can get a lot of, see what he did with it. But I'm gonna open this right now. This is gonna be the one I'm open with y'all because what I'm guessing is, is the 1660 put in a brand new 2060 box. EVJ was just like, so I'm just gonna open it up and see what's good. We're gonna go on this trip together. Got my little unboxing knife. What is it? What is it? Got another sticker on here. You can tell it's factory sealed. Once again, it's sealed again. Let's see. Another seal. Wow. The GTX 1660. <laughs> That's crazy. That probably wasn't the most satisfying thing ever. Let's see, can you see it? Hopefully you guys can see that. Enough talking. I'm just gonna get right to the build. Like I said, I, I don't really have a lot of time to be talking to y'all. Let's just get right to the build. All right, we back in here. I'm gonna do this on camera and we're gonna see. If this works, I'm gonna get up out of here with some sexy B-roll. If this post, I built the machine. Honestly, it was a pretty good build. This Fractal Design case, it's the Fractal Design Focus G. I'm just gonna press power and see if this thing post hooked up a monitor. Let me hit that. And we're gonna see, man, fingers crossed. We got lights, we got lights. Are we gonna get anything posted? Oh, let me turn the monitor on. Let me turn the monitor on. Are we gonna get any post? Come on, come on. Come on, come on, uh-oh. What's that? <laughs> we got a post. We are in here. What I'm gonna do, let's see, let's see, let's see what the lights, can y'all see these? They green, see red, 
blue. What I'll do is clean this up, do some cable management, and I'ma hit y'all with that sexy B-roll, yeah! All right, folks, you can see we are back. The system is built looking beautiful. And now we're in a game. We are in a little Black Ops 4. Not the most demanding game to run, but I kind of wanted y'all to see exactly what kind of performance you can expect out of a system. I don't know what that dude was doing. Um, but I just wanted y'all to see what kind of performance you can get out of a system like this. One of the things I'm noticing is that with this Ryzen 2200G, um and all the games i played that cpu usage is pinged at 100 percent all the time but it doesn't seem to be slowing anything down the gtx 1660 is handling capably we are able to game at 1080p i have settings maxed out except for motion blur i turn that off yeah, that was nice, that was nice. Yeah, the settings are maxed out pretty far as I could go with AA turned all the way up and no motion blur. Let's see, get up, ah, oh, they got me. <laughs> Let's try some Battlefield 5. Let's get in there and see what's good, all right? All right, guys, we are here in Battlefield 5. I'm probably gonna die a lot in the time, the short time that I'm in here. I don't play this game at all. I'm not very good. I can't shoot. You see what happened, I died. But you can see that we are in here running pretty good. I have this 1080p at high settings. I wanna say the high um, preset. I'm able to get into the mid 60s, 70s at some point. You can see that I'm running at 50s a lot when nobody's around, when things get busy, it'll dip. But um, I'm sure that if I adjusted the settings, maybe lowered some things to, you know, me dying, maybe lower some of the settings that I would get some better FPS if you wanted a higher frame rate gameplay. I don't wanna play this game anymore. So uh, let's try Apex Legends and see about that. All right, y'all, you can see we are here in Apex Legends. I did another video for this, but I couldn't get my Afterburner overlay to work. So we pulled up Fraps so I could have the frame counter in the corner. You can see here I'm in the graphic settings and we're running on a combination of high, pretty much everything high. So let's go ahead and try to get into a game. I'm pretty trash at this game. So don't expect me to be alive long if we actually come up on some folks. All right, I think I'm running right to where people are. Let me go the other way. Yeah, let me go over here because I was like running right to where the folks was at. There might be some guns and stuff up over here. All right, let's see. Yeah. Shout out to the people who came and watched me stream that one time I, did, I played this game. And I got a win. That was pretty hot. I wasn't mad at that. Oh. Oh. Oh, did I blast him? No, I didn't. <laughs> but you can see, get a pretty solid FPS. Um, am I alive still? Yeah. I apologize to my teammates. I told y'all I'm trash at this game. All right, enough game playing. Let's get back and talk about this system and what's going on. All right, folks, you see we are back. It's been a couple of days now, but we have the system built, ready to go, looking so good. Let me remind you exactly what's all in here before we go any further. Also, I'll put the prices over here as well. So to start it off with, we have the Ryzen 
3200 g apu as for the motherboard we have the msi b450m pro m2 on to the ram we have eight gigabytes of kingston fury for storage what i did buy for this build was the a data 120 gigabyte ssd to let you guys know to load up a couple of games for testing i did throw in an old wd one terabyte red drive that i had just to load some games on if i was actually going to be putting another hard drive into the system that's not what i would use full time for the power supply pretty solid one we got an evga 80 plus bronze as for graphics cards we have the brand new gtx 1660 from evga the xc gaming edition make sure y'all stay tuned at 200 dollars, i plan to put this up with what I feel is the current king of that price range, the 580. I plan to put those in the head-to-head -head battle, so make sure y'all stay tuned. Let me know if that's what y'all want to see down below in the comments. And the case, we have the Fractal Design Focus G. Build was super easy. It was actually one of the easiest builds I've had. I thought the cable management came out pretty well. Aesthetics-wise, I actually like this case. I was unsure how I was gonna feel about this acrylic side panel on the side. I do wish it kind of showed more so you could see the fans a little bit better, especially here on the front, this black mesh. Like if your fans aren't the brightest, it's not gonna really shine through as bright as it can. But overall, I think the build came out lovely. I'm really feeling it. I wanna know what you guys think. Also, this is a test for any of y'all that have stuck around this long. I need a name for this system. Leave in the comments a name for this system. I'll check them all maybe in about two weeks. If I find something that I like that I choose to use, I'll do an update video letting y'all know what that name is. And also, I'm gonna hit you up. How about I send you a pair of headphones? These are the Mixiter E9 Active Noise Canceling Headphones. If I pick your name and you want these, I'll drop them in the mail, ship them to you free of charge, all right? I never did like a 10K giveaway or anything like that, so I figured, hey, what's a small way I can give back to the people who show love here every time I put a video out? It's your Ken Fold Dookie. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'ma get up out of here, but never forget to holla at your boy. All right, folks, it's your boy Dookie. I'm in here working on the edit. On my YouTube, I put up a picture of the actual system after it was done, and I asked people to guess what parts was in it. So I want to give a shout out to everybody who took a guess. Derek Mack, Zvin Davino, Deano, Omid, Heydari, Benjamin Jenkins. I apologize if I mess y'all name up, but I do appreciate y'all showing love and with some interesting guesses.